So let's get started with branding. Why is it important to have good visuals? We all know that video converts. We all know that live actually gets people to know, like, and trust you, get to know your personality, talk to you face to face live, see that everything is, uh, that you're a real person and you're not there just skimming yourself, right? like trying to trick people into stuff because you can fool people on text. You can fool, fool them in edited videos. You can fool them in edited Photoshop and, but you cannot fool them when you're live like this interacting. So if you guys want to come in and interact with me face to face audience in a box forward slash live, you'll be able to jump into zoom and just have a conversation and ask me any question that you want. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can have a Grand Cardone style live video, exactly everything from the beginning to the end with the commercials, with the studio, with all that stuff. So because you could not hear me before, let me do that again for a second and show you what I am building on the fly with you. So we're going to go back to uh, Grand Cardone's video and take that, make it a little bigger and let's see. So Grand Cardone starts with, they start with a commercial, right? They have a little intro to their, um, to their live show, live streaming. They have a little intro that where they're getting settled down and it's all pre-recorded, right? And it's their little commercial that you can do. Then they're moving into a studio and in the studio, you can see that they have three, six screens behind them. I think they have even more, even more screens behind them. But what you see is like their logo on the top, a phone number for engagement and interactions where their team actually screens people before they let them on the call. And, um, and they're having a conversation with each other about whatever topic it is. This one, what would you do with a billion dollars? And they're talking, 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 talking. And now we have a little commercial that pops up, right? Like right here. And this commercial is pre-recorded, right? And I already showed you how you can create that for yourself. This is all stock video that you can find in Biteable and create your own commercial in the middle. So we have different types of commercials right here where they're selling stuff. And after that, we are jumping back into the show, right? So in the show, we have again, screens where they can put whatever they want on their screens, numbers and some branding stuff. And you can see even here, you have Elena probably on Instagram on the phone or something. So they're multicasting, broadcasting everywhere live in a studio with a team. And then again, we have different commercials, right? The show goes on, they have, uh, promotional lower thirds that are popping up and commercial commercial and this is an hour long yeah almost an hour and they're ending with another commercial right another call to action another recorded video <laughs> and a dance okay so how do we how do we as solopreneurs or small businesses or speakers, expert speakers that don't have a lot of time or don't want to break walls, how do we do that right on our own? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to Photoshop and we are going to create those monitors right now on the fly. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop. This is my Photoshop and we are, this is like three screens right now. And obviously I'm not teaching you how to create Photoshop, but I'm just going to show you this. So we have three screens and I'm going to take another, another one of these like that. We're going to rotate 90 degrees like that right in the middle and just make it a little longer cut like this. There you go. So these are our three screens or six screens right now. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG and I'm going to show you how I'm bringing it into software and making that, making that, um, my background. Okay. So we're going to go to, we're just going to save this and green screen background. You guys can see that because I'm only sharing one screen. Okay, so now I am going to go back to showing you me and where am I? 
you're muted me there we go okay so now that i am showing you me and me alone right here let me show you how i bring let me just make sure that i'm the only one who is visible on your screen for you there we go okay so now that you see me i'm gonna bring that image in and i'm going to turn that into a green screen like three monitors so i'm going to add a media file into my software and as you can see here's my media file right i'm gonna make it big across the screen and so now what you see is six big monitors green monitors but we want to change them right we want to make them transparent so i'm going to add a chroma key to these green screens and now you see me behind bars <laughs> right so we need those monitors behind me not in front of me because right now i am in jail trying to get out out of jail so i'm going to put the, these <laughs> green screens behind my camera right so then it will look like three six big screens Dum -da -da -dum. there we go so now those green screens are behind me but now it still kind of looks like you know they're just lines behind uh behind my wall behind my previous wall right so what i need to do is i need to add some kind of a screen like uh, feel right like something a little bit more dynamic so I'm going to go to YouTube and let me see if I can share that there with you so now let me see if I can share YouTube with you actually I can because we have that right here right we have Grand Cardone right here so instead of going here let's do um, background um, video right video loop and we can put whatever we want, right? We can put like these, um, let's be inside, let's be behind um, behind a C, right? Behind the C. So I'm not signed in and that's why I grabbed all those, we have those commercials. We're gonna skip this ad and we're gonna grab this video. So let me grab that video. actually okay so i'm going to take that video and i'm going to put that behind my screens right behind my little you're going to see me this popping up popping up actually before we're going to pop up we're going to make it play and i muted it so then it doesn't interfere with anything now this can be whatever video you want right so right now here i am <laughs> behind an ocean right and if i move it behind my bars there you go here i'm our six screens i am in the aquarium somewhere uh, talking to you <laughs> from the bottom of the ocean now if i wanted to add some numbers for you to call and actually i'm going to give you a number to call so you can um call right now let's see if i can find it da, da, da. let's see if we can have a number for you to call and we're just gonna add that number here. See if you guys wanna call us and say anything. So, the number to call would be this. I'm gonna add a number for you to call right here. Let's see which one of you brave men and women is going to call right now. This is the number. So, the number is six four six five five eight i'm gonna put that in that little screen see it's right there in the thing and i can also add some kind of facebook interaction so let's make facebook connect and then we can see if you guys have any chats or any comments or anything like that that'll be fantastic uh, we can have the same thing with youtube we can have whatever conversations we have so um this is how you from the comfort of your own home have dynamic studio like appearances where you can brand it however you want let's make sure that our fish are still swimming 
<laughs> when we're doing that, right? And da -da -da -da. we got our audio, we got our color, we got our layout, mail. Let's make sure everything is swimming and working and playing. And sometimes I'm going to have to bring it to the foreground in order to press the play button. Then bring it back, back to the end. There we go. So play, please. There you go. Let's move you back. There we go. So now I'm in an aquarium and here are the fishes. They're moving, <laughs> Elizabeth. And I can see your comments. So if you guys want to call, this is the number to call, 646-558-8665. You can call right now and we'll have the same Grand Cardone experience from under the ocean with the green screens and all that jazz. Um, so I can see we have a few guys here already. Um, Jack, do you have any questions? Do you want to jump in and say anything? Yes, no, now, yes. Okay, fantastic. So, um, there we go. Okay, so um, the, the fishes are moving, the number is up, the comments are coming in, the interaction is happening in uh, audience in a box, and this is how you guys can control whatever layout, whatever branding, whatever, um, whatever type of book you want. The number wants to give you a color idea. Oh, I love you girl. <laughs> so the color ID is, we didn't say that, right? So the meeting idea, let me give that. Thanks for calling Elizabeth, I love you for that. Da -da -da, moving my fishies. Um, let me add our little number, give you the color idea. Da -da -da. There we go. So. The color ID is this. Ta -da. So this is our color ID and this is a Zoom meeting. So if you want to jump in with the Zoom meeting and say a call so you can jump in and talk to me face to face uh, when you come to Audience in a Box Live, just jump into Zoom or you can dial in and you can uh, have a conversation. And I think Elizabeth's gonna call me in a second and I'll show you how that's done because she's a wonderful person. So you guys can be every day in a different city. You can be in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you can be under the sea. You can be in front of Big Ben. You can be in a fancy meeting room. You can be in an office. You can be in an aquarium. You can be in a room like the one that I have that is very comfy. And I'm going to remove this, um, this remove the fishies like this, and now you can be in a room, just like that, right? You can remove that, and now you are in your own room. So what's nice about that is that you don't come across as someone sitting in their living room. And here we go. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Hey, I can hear you, fantastic. How are you? <laughs> oh my God, I'm, wait, I'm no longer in the aquarium. You're no longer in the aquarium. No, I moved back to my own room just to show that we can be anywhere we want. We can be in an aquarium. We can be in a nice, tidy room. <laughs> we can be in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> we can be in front of anything else. Um, that is awesome. And as someone that is promoting books and branding and strategy for authors to actually be able to get paid nicer for their services, they have to have an appearance. What do you think? Yeah. Um, what do you think branding yourself like? What type of look and feel people should strive for? It, well, it all depends on who your audience is and who your message is about. I mean, I don't know that a corporate audience would be really impressed with you being in front of an aquarium, but they might think it's really awesome if you have a really nice skyline behind you. That's true. And we can do that as well. So let's get our, um, Ooh, let's get our where are we going? <laughs> Okay, so if I go here, let's uh, let's get our star line. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. So you tell me what kind of star line would you like to see? 
Uh, uh, let's see. Do we have something like New York or Shanghai or something like that? Something oh, with lots of go. really impressive looking skyscrapers? <laughs> there you go. So sky scrapers. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and we get the movie. Ta-da! Uh, skyscrapers <laughs> loop video. So this one is only eight seconds long. We usually want to find something that's a little longer that will loop a lot longer, but let's look at this one. So this one is not really, so basically what we're looking for is New York, right? New York skyline. Yeah, something that looks actually like a real, you know. <laughs> but that's still kind of cool though too. I mean, that would be really good like if you're doing like a speaker thing or something. Yeah. That'd be really cool. So there we go, <clears throat> we got, um, it's Ooh, awesome. stars in the universe. That would be good for uh, like a fiction author. Mm -hmm. That'd be um, really cool. So this one goes through everything. That's not what we want. Um, and so guys, when you do this, you're probably going to spend some time just like, you know, looking for a good video for yourself. Something that either you're going to, you know, you're going to create it or you are going to... We, or you're gonna get commercials. Or you're gonna you're gonna create it, or you're gonna find it on YouTube <laughs> and just run with it. Um, so, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Should you use like? I mean, should you play like music videos in the background? I mean, things that like. I mean, like we have the option to have a movie playing. I mean, is that something you should consider doing, or is that like don't do it? So I my uh, my. What I'm telling people to do is, let's move this way a second. So guys, what you want to do is like, you don't want to take anything, that, you don't want to put anything in the background that will distract from your communication, right? You're the star of the show. So if there's any mess in the background that takes away from positioning you as the expert, as the top speaker, as you know, the authority in your niche, you really don't want to do that because it defies the entire purpose of branding yourself. So if you're putting like a really interesting video, like a cat just walking in the background and stuff, it's going to take away from your messaging. And, uh, <laughs> right? And people will be like, I actually interviewed uh, Tom Chi like that. And he had a cat and he kept like, you know, uh, petting the cat. And the whole thing, it's just like you're looking at the cat. You don't listen to Tom. <laughs> so that's the challenge. Um, so what we want is we want skylines. Uh, and let's look at right. This. I mean, I don't think you necessarily also, because I know uh, there's the whole idea of if you put somebody famous in the background, like, hey, I'll have Gary Vee in the background and everyone will associate me with Gary Vee. I don't think that's a good idea either. Or, or am yeah. I wrong about that? No. <laughs> well, you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you, you really, you want to borrow authority, right? But like being normal about it <laughs> like because the, <laughs> the whole idea is that you um let's see do, 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 we don't, so the whole idea is that you want to position yourself as the expert right but um and live video is the place where you are authentic you mess up people get to know your personality you know you get some time getting used to it so if you're faking in line on live video <laughs> Good luck with the rest of your career, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. I mean, the whole the whole point is to to be authentic, but be authentic in the best way possible. Like position yourself as not sitting in your uh, in your bedroom, or not sitting in front of a closet and a bra is hanging out, or not sitting in front of a messy. You know, <laughs> I've had that happen. I'm feeling a little uh, personally attacked here. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> I don't think you've ever been live with a bra hanging out behind you. No, not yet, anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, but a lot of people do that, right? So when you're just starting out, and or even if you've been in the game for a little while, but you don't have the budget to break walls and to hire tons of cameramen and spend an entire day in the studio and you want to look professional, right? And you want to be everywhere at once, then you can do that. We, you know, maybe you don't want to be in an aquarium. Maybe you want to be in space. Maybe you want to be in an office room. Actually, that is um, 
um, get walk yet. <laughs> hey, uh, Donald, uh, are you from, we met yesterday in, um, in Instagram, I think. No, I have not. Um, and the reason why I don't like those closed environment, here's the thing with live video, right? And all those other things, you should own your platform. So if you are doing live video and you're only on Facebook, and then Facebook wakes up the next day and goes like, hey, $50 to access your community, which can happen. Or Facebook, you wake up the next day and there's a sign like, hey, you've been banned from Facebook because someone said something about you somewhere, right? So I'm under the, I, I really promote owning your platform, owning your community, owning your virtual assets. Yes, you wanna use social to spread your message, but you really want to bring everybody to your own site and your own properties so that w Google wakes up the next day and decides to close Google Plus. Blab, everybody, re you remember Blab? <laughs> Blab was there and it's gone. Remember Clout? Clout was there and it's gone. So you really want to be able to own your platforms and not really rely on anybody to, um, you know, for your livelihood, for your business, for everything. So I know there's a new platform that just came out that looks like Blub, but everything that happens in Vegas can't stay in Vegas. <laughs> what do you think, Elizabeth? <laughs> I think you muted yourself, are you? I did. I muted myself because I was eating my lunch. Ah, bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. Yes. So let me show you office. So yeah, office uh, background video. Uh, I mean, she's t you're totally right as usual because, uh, I mean, seriously, I got banned this year uh, for a day from Facebook. There you go. And it can ha if it happens to me, it can happen to anyone. And it was by someone in my own, one of my own groups. It's like, really? 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 Right. Uh, yeah. I the know. only way to prevent that is to own your own stuff. Oh, that would be really good if you're trying to convince people that you're like, in a fancy yeah. office with my green, my green mm -hmm. hair. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> In a fancy office with a green hair. Um, <laughs> and we have David Yorka. How long ago did you start using this? I have been using this since before Facebook Live came to be. <laughs> um, I've been using this since um, Hangouts came about. What is it? Seven years ago or something like that? So, yes. And yes, Donald, you can stream to Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope, and LinkedIn, and Pinterest, like I'm doing right now. So um, this is a very, very cool, and I can move stuff around, right? You can still call me and have a conversation, uh, rather than just commenting on Facebook. <coughs> so yes, Elizabeth, you can have like whatever professional environment you can be kind of like at, uh, and it kind of looks like, you know, he's really working behind me, right? Doesn't like just loop around. He is very busy. I don't know what he's doing, but he is very busy. He's very busy. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, if you have another other questions, I have to drink. Hold on. And this is live video for you. <laughs> uh, I think this is a great example of the benefits of having this kind of software because you have so many different ways to bring people on to cover for you while you're choking on your own water. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I've been talking too long, my throat. Um, are there any benefits? Have I found any benefits? Yes. There are tons of benefits of going live. Yesterday I asked in Facebook Live um, how long have been people doing live and what did they ca what came out of it? And everybody said they got clients out of it. I know I did. Uh, I got to be flying around the world with Google. I got to speak on stages. I got to get hired. Uh, there's a lot of benefits for really building your brand and being everywhere. The challenge is, is like, how are you, what cover does your book have? That should be your line, Elizabeth. What color does your book have? What cover? Um, do you, are you appearing as- I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> what what's your cover <laughs> are you appearing as a professional in your niche or are you appearing as someone who's just starting out are you appearing as someone who's up and coming um are you hip are you corporate what's what you think right and once you find it you know yeah. exactly how to brand yourself 
Exactly. I mean, you have to meet audience expectations for your brand. Yes. Um, if you're trying to market to, mill uh, to millennials, you're going to want to look and act a certain way. If you're trying to market to baby boomers, you probably don't want to have pink hair or, you know, green hair. Oops, I just moved my wall. <laughs> <laughs> but the beautiful part of something like this, like the system you're using, I mean, we've got your, uh, you've got branding elements in there. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. I mean, nobody's going to forget you thought Cohen. <laughs> uh, and if you don't know how to I pronounce mean, it, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh well hey i'm my there's a green phone on the screen yes yes because i was like why why are we only why am i the only one who, who's visible you should be talking to you're welcome david um uh -huh. we could we talk oh look at me i'm a little green button that's awesome <laughs> well, if you jumped, if you actually want to, if you want to have a conversation, you can jump into Zoom and actually talk to me face to face and Elizabeth over the phone. But the idea is that you guys, you can do, you can be exactly like the big guys. You can have the Gary V look and feel, you can have the Grant Cardone look and feel, you can have the Marie Forleo look and feel. And what's magical about live video is what Elizabeth and I are doing right now. It's the interaction. It's not just me talking on the screen, it's actually having a conversation with other people. And the biggest conversation where people are really, really engaged with is the face-to-face -face or the voice-to-voice -voice conversations. You saw that with Blab, right? Blab was like, it, they closed because they wanted people to broadcast, but people were just hanging out, talking to each other. So now there's another get vocal platform that allows people to just hang out and talk to each other. And so if you want to be that person that people are gathering around and communicating with um, on your own platform, then use tools like this. Tools like Zoom are fantastic. Hangouts used to be fantastic now. <laughs> they're not <laughs> but no not really you what not really not anymore another thing i just wanted to add real quick the so depending on your price point depending on what you're trying to sell everything is so dependent mm -hmm. on relationship yeah there are 50 million books out there there are so many different consultants and speakers and fruit loop makers and I don't know what else, <laughs> Yes, but people aren't going to buy from you unless they care about you. And this is a great way to, well, I don't want to say get people to care about you, but that's basically it. Relationship is what sells nowadays. And it's true because we have so much fake, fake news, fake photoshops, fake videos, fake everything, right? And that's why I think live is, you know, getting so much engagement and so much reach uh, because people want the non-scripted, the real you, the cat jumping in the background, the kid walking in with the stroller. Um, they want that type of authenticity because everything else is kind of, you know, fake and made up. So even though this background is fake, it's not, <laughs> it's not fake me, right? It's an environment that you're building to portray yourself, but your personality comes through in video. And just like you said, you know, Frank Kern started his all intent marketing. Have you seen that one? Elizabeth? Yes, I have. I have. So in his intent marketing, he's talking about like, hey, everybody can steal everything from me. But the one thing that I cannot steal is my relationship with my clients. And yes. Right. <laughs> And it's very interesting, right? Because when we are talking um, about the high levels, exactly like you said, right? If you want someone to invest $10,000, $20,000 or pay you for a speech, it's all about like the body system. Who do you know that can do blah? Um, that's even in the, in the plumber <laughs> business. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, He's Elizabeth. I, lo I love your green, uh, your green thing. <laughs> your green thing now. I know, isn't it great? It's so perky, and I just, I love it. But, I mean, you're right. I mean, think about the last purchases you made. I mean, like, major purchases. Maybe not so much the candy bar, but uh, the last thing you spent major coin on, you asked people about it first. Who do you know? What do you know about this? Do you know this person? I mean, does anybody know anybody who does this? It's all about the relationship. 
Yeah, and and today we're very very connected to each other. So we hardly ever you know buy anything without referrals, without asking our friends. Um, so when you do live, what's uh, what's great about that is that a you're leveraging Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all those live platforms algorithm to kind of pop you in front of your audience, and also you're leveraging this connection, this face to face unscripted connection with. Uh, with potential buyers, with people that you, you know are looking out for you, like, should I hire you? Should I not hire you? Do you really know what you're talking about? Because if you don't, you'll be stumped <laughs> when you go live. So <laughs> this is a great way for other people also to filter who knows, who doesn't know. I think we're, uh, I think we're good on that, right? What do you think? I think you, you've done an amazing job and it's like I need to go back and like rewatch how you did that at the beginning so that I can make my own fancy video background. There you go. And uh, green screen is not that expensive. You guys can get that. Uh, the only thing that I would kind of caution you is technology changes every day. Um, if you're not very geeky and if you are easily overwhelmed by technology, maybe you want to have a nice you know, room behind you, or maybe you want to have a nice sofa or paint the wall in a different color. But if you want to come across as big stars or an expert in your community and you don't want to be, you're welcome, David. And if you don't want to be building all these things, you know, like now have an entire room just set up for a couch and a sofa and somewhere to interact with people, then this might be a good option for you. So if you want to know how you can apply this in your business, if you want to pick my brand or just having some kind of conversation about this, audience in a box forward slash live, there's a button there to book a call, a 10 minute call, and we can talk about whether or not this is a good fit for you, because it might not be. It might not be right now, it might be later on. Uh, maybe there are other things that you can do. So hopefully this was helpful. And um, thank you again, my dear, for jumping on. I really appreciate you. And, um, and if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please do and go forth, be branded, <laughs> be nice, interact with people. And hopefully I'll see you in future episodes of Audience in a Box, that live. Da -da. You recommend green screen. <laughs> I do. <laughs>